Hey folks, Mr. Tully. I'm back. I'm hoping I'm going to be back permanently now. Uh, we've been through a lot, so this is kind of an update. Um, I don't know how much I've said in other videos, in my last few videos, but uh, last February, end of February, we bought a house. Um, not six blocks from where our old place was. <coughs> but we own this one. So I don't have to move, and I can set my shop up the way I want it, which is where I'm coming to you from. Um, the house had a single stall garage. My wife's a little pissed she can't get her car in here, but I have my workshop. Um, I just put a wall up I, so I don't have to heat the whole thing. I don't need a whole single stall garage. But uh, So I've got the back half of the garage. It's all insulated. Uh, I've got one window over there, and i got an air conditioner that goes in over here for the summer. This is not summer. I woke up this morning to a negative 2 on my phone. And I thought that was a little bit brisk. <laughs> but hey, it's Minnesota. It's pretty early for being that cold here. But, uh, been busy. Getting, you know, I've got some leather work coming in. And... I'm going to do a video on a knife sheath, a real simple one, just a fold over, something for my uh, Kephart knife, Kephart style knife, and uh, that'll be about it. So, you know, aside from, uh, you know, I went to Barnall's right of, just before, or just after we bought the house, I went down to visit with Barnall, and I'm hoping to do that again next spring, but, uh, yeah, it's been uh, been a roller coaster, man. Working uh, until I couldn't work anymore. I was off for about a month and a half, which I probably could have made some videos, but I wasn't getting around real well. Um, and I don't like walking around with a cane because it's probably what screwed up my shoulder even worse than it was. But I have a, a couple of fancy knee braces that I wear now, and uh, I get around all right keep the cane with me just for a little extra stability but we're getting around better uh, did mess up my shoulder pretty bad I messed up both of them but one of them seemed to get, got pretty good with the physical therapy the other one uh, doc thinks there's sorry about that something torn in there uh, and in pretty rough shape so we'll see what we can do for it uh, did get back to work kind of on a part-time basis, but I'm back to work. Thank God. <laughs> I hate sitting around the house. Especially when I can't do anything. Um, just to, to do this shop, you know, I was the back half of the garage, so we uh, had some help from my son-in-law. I built a wall across it, put in a door, um, and then used this OSB around the whole garage. There's a, a space up above here for storage, cold storage. That's all insulated out too. So, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. A little electric radiator heater keeps it about 40, 50 degrees in here overnight. Or did last night anyway, kept it about 40. So, we got a little more, I think, a little insulating that's going to need to be done, but it is what it is. Uh, I do have. A regular exterior door. I got some finished work to do in here. A little bit of this and that, but I'm back to working on on uh, leather and stuff. So we'll get a uh, knife sheath done. Ugh. I'm gonna do it for this knife, my Chris Hayes Kephart style knife. Love this knife. This is. It is so razor sharp, but all of his knives are. But I'm going to do just a simple fold over sheath for this, and that should be all I need. Got a holster setting up here, another one over here that I'm getting done, and another one here that I'm getting done. So I've been busy. Um, some repair work. Guy brought me this cheesy knife sheath. I said, you know, I can build you a new knife sheath. Nope, just want to fix that one. 
Restitched everything. I did put a little welt in here, so that'll help him out. Um, yeah. Other than that, we're getting back to getting some work done out here. Reloading bench is full of stuff, but it's in here. Gun bench is full of stuff, but it's also in here. <laughs> All set up. Everything's bolted to the wall now. Not like uh, you know before it was freestanding in the basement of the old place because we didn't own it. Everything is uh, lag bolted into the wall. Four inch lag bolts going in there holding them on. So they're not going anywhere. Uh, especially a reloading bench. If you remember some of those videos, it flexed that bench pretty good sometimes. We should be good to go. Other than that, hang out. Start looking for some videos. Might be a week or two, but uh, I've got some. We'll do that knife sheath which will be a multi-part video. I'm going to try to get into a few more details on it. Um, there's some other things that I'm working with as far as dyes and stuff. I'm going to give the oil dyes another shot. Uh, I've learned a little bit more from some other people that use the oil dyes as opposed to the alcohol dyes and their colors are more true, I guess. So, uh, We'll get to those. Yeah. So there you go. That's where we've been. That's what we've been doing. Stay safe and God bless. And we'll be back.